Yes, yes, here we are with the next video. We're going to start looking at some cool features like colors and um, a little trick here that's going to save a lot of time. I'm going to save this wonderful logo created by David Stevens. Um, and I'm just going to open that file in my... I'm just going to open the file in the software being taught and now if I look at this graphic which was a vector image originally so this is just a logo that someone designed probably an illustrator so we're gonna look at recoloring stuff and to do that I need to be able to pretty much have the vector graphic again I want to be able to recolor these individually um, and you'll soon see why so if I go right here with the object selected with the black arrow tool and you can tell it's selected because of the box around it if I hit right here at the top image trace it's going to guess for me what the vector shapes would look like without me having to draw and even better if I go window image trace it's gonna bring out the panel with more options for this exact feature up here so we can look at some of these options and there's um already predetermined kind of settings so if I click here black and white grayscale so we can see grayscale it's starting to show a little bit the potential and again this is going to be a full color vector graphic eventually so my best option right now is probably going to be something like this low color um, four colors which is great for a logo we don't want too many colors so once I do that I now have to hit this button here expand and right when I hit that button you're gonna see we are familiar with the look of this these are now vector shapes individual shapes I pretty much vectorized a logo very quickly and very easily and this is really cool so first I'm just gonna fix this up right here there's a big white spot and right here we're probably gonna have to fix that just for sakes of learning and a little uh, fun fact so I'm gonna take my pen tool and I'm just gonna start drawing A shape so I just drew a shape I'm just gonna change the color for a sec so I'm gonna load up my default Pantone palette Obviously, I want it to appear behind the logo itself so that it can only be in the holes that we're missing. So if I select the object and hit send to back, so the object is still there, it's just behind. So if I change the object to the color black, We just have to send it to the back now. So that's just a little trick to filling in that area. And here this area is revealed a little bit of white. So I can delete the white sections as well as, and with the white arrow tool, the 
direct selection tool. I can move these anchor points to somewhat fill this shape. In this case, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you guys can see how I'm just playing with the anchors and just kind of reforming that one shape. So now that I have my logo as vector, it's no longer pixels. I'm going to highlight the object and I'm just going to go view, hide my edges. So my object is still selected, but I'm not seeing all of those distracting light blue um, highlights. And I hid, so with my object selected, and I hid the edges. I'm going to go to recolor artwork. So this, so this circular icon with a gradient, a radial gradient on it. So it's going to bring up all the colors in my graphic. And remember, when I traced it, I only selected four colors. So it does exactly that. It gives me my four main colors. So I can, from this drop down, select color palettes, either created by myself, created by a studio like Walt Disney might have um, certain color palettes. And this is kind of just exactly recoloring artwork without having to select individual colors on their own. So let's say I like something. Let's say I don't like any of these. I can individually recolor my artwork. So I'm going to take the blue and I'm just going to make it I'll make it white. I can select just the helmet color maybe and make it black. So now we can see what my logo could look like um, with only three colors. So I, I got rid of a color. So I can keep on changing the hue, saturation, or brightness. The saturation is the amount of blue and the brightness is the black or the white. So now that I did that, I can save this um, color group, pass it along to other designers, like at Walt Disney, perhaps. I'd have a color group for a certain movie. So now I'm going to hit OK. And my object is now been recolored. If I so just a little last side note, if I want to select just one color without doing that mode, I select one shape with that color and right here on the right, there's a drop down menu and it's called select similar objects. So I can select similar objects with the same fill color. I can select the similar objects with the same stroke color. and just recolor just that one shape which is kind of fun or I could go to individual shapes and just recolor those 